Okay, let's give the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, <laughs> you would advise against that, Councilor? Yes. <laughs> 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 is the line of the budget finished? Yes. Okay, I'm going to call <coughs> this meeting to order. Town uh, Board, October 7th, regular meeting at 7 08 p.m. We get a roll call, please. Bernie Bassett? Here. Thomas Wood? Here. Paul Lemoyne? Here. Troy Bernadette? Here. James Coffey? Here. And Rick Collins. Resolution 292, approving the minutes of the previous meeting. Resolved that the minutes of September 30th, 2013 be approved and the reading of the minutes be dispensed with. I have a motion. So moved. Uh, Mr. Renovat, second Mr. Wood. Any discussion? Roll call. Thomas Wood? Yes. Paul Moy? Yes. Craig Renovat? Yes. Bernie Bassett? Yes. The resolution carries. Resolution 293, abstract 10A. <coughs> Resolved that the abstract of audit of claims number 10A-13, 2063 to 2229, for $2,503,948.51, <coughs> and abstract 10A-13, <coughs> 371 to 377 prepays in the amount of $55,835.67. Be received as reviewed by the audit committee and supervisors hereby authorized to pay said out. I have a motion. So moved. Mr. Lemoyne, second. Second. Mr. Renadet, any discussion? Roll call. Thomas Wood? Yes. Paul Lemoyne? Yes. Brian Renadet? Yes. Bernie Bass? Yes. <coughs> motion carries. Resolution 294, Building Maintenance and Safety Committee Monthly Report. Resolved to receive and place on file a report from our Bro Building Maintenance Supervisor for the month of September 2013. Mm -hmm. I have a motion. So Mr. Wood, second. <coughs> second. Mr. Lemoyne, any discussion? Is, uh, when, it, when you talk about how many are finished or stuff, is there a percentage or something that, that, that we're aiming for every month? Is it? For the uh, UF, UF, for the street lights and things? I, I'm not sure what the percentage is, Tom, but he's uh, calculated the number he needs to do. Uh, you might remember NYSEG gave us two years. Right. to actually go through and do all the disconnects. Uh, we're ahead of that schedule. Okay. Uh, one of the reasons the weather has been uh, favorable, uh, we were a little discouraged because it took far longer than we thought for closing. Uh, but that's going well and uh, you know, God willing and Mother Nature cooperating, so far uh, they're, they're moving along quite <coughs> well. Um, I hesitate a little, but I believe it's somewhere in the neighborhood of a couple hundred or so that they've done. They've been making pretty good progress. Okay. Any other when he puts down that they're, they're continuing work on it, yep. it's, it's nice to know about where they're at. Um, I can ask him to put the number down with that each time, so I know he knows it. So we've got a sense of that. Thank you. You're welcome. It's a good question. Any other discussion? Roll call. Thomas Wood? Yes. Paul Moy? Yes. Brad Rendezvous? Yes. Bernie Bassett? Yes. Resolution carries. Resolution 295, Codes and Zoning Department Monthly Report. Resolved to receive and place on final report from Stephen Einhoff, Code Enforcement Officer, for the month of September 2000. A motion. So moved. Mr. Renadet, second. Second. Mr. Wood, any discussion? Um, just a, a uh, <coughs> sharing of a comment, uh, recent, we have a monthly codes zoning, um, myself, uh, um, our assessor, uh, water sewer highway usually, a uh, meeting about uh, projects that are going, and a comment that was made this month was that um, those departments were about as busy as they've been lately. Uh, there were projects that were in the works that are starting to go through. 
Uh, again, as you often see, there are projects that um, are able to get going and they're very, very anxious to get in the ground. It's a short season. We've said that many, many times. And with the good weather, people want to, uh, if they get started, they want to be able to cap things and, and get things in close. So it's, it's been very busy. As you know, Alan uh, was out uh, for some time with some surgery and uh, he's doing really well and we're anticipating him coming back uh, as soon as midweek, at least part-time. So, uh, But the good news, uh, a little bit of a barometer and there's always a lag. Uh, uh, codes and zoning have been quite busy, and, and that's good. Any other discussion? Roll call. Thomas Wood? Yes. Paul Moyne? Yes. Do I agree with that? Yes. Very bad. Yes, resolution carries. Resolution 296, Historian's Monthly Report. I'm now to receive and place on file a Historian's Monthly Report from the month of September 2000. I have a motion. So moved. Uh, Mr. Renovac, second. Second. Mr. Wood, any discussion? <coughs> Roll call. Thomas Wood? Yes. Paul Moy? Yes. Do I that? Yes. Very bad. Yes, resolution carries. Resolution 297, Parks and Recreation Department, monthly report. Resolved to receive and place on file a report from Melanie Defiat, Recreation and Youth Service Director for the month of September. Have motion. Mr. Lemoyne, second. second. Mr. Wood, any discussion? <coughs> Thomas Wood? Yes. Paul Lemoyne? Yes. Do I agree that? Yes. Bernie Mack. Excuse me, yes, the resolution carries. Resolution 298, Planning Department, monthly report. Resolved to receive and place on file a report from Phil Bond Bargain Planning and Engineering Department head for the month of October 2000. Have a motion. So moved. Mr. Renanet, second. Second. Mr. Lemoy, any discussion? Ruckel. Thomas Wood? Yes. Paul Lemoy? Yes. Do I agree with that? Yes. Bernie Bass. Yes, resolution carries. Resolution 299, Town Clerk's Monthly Report. Resolved to receive and place on file a report from Rick Collins, Town Clerk, for the month of September 2000. Have a motion. So moved. Mr. Lemoy, second. Second. <coughs> Mr. Renata, any discussion? Rick, anything you want to throw in once we have you here? No, we've just been pretty busy day, day in and day out. Um, and any, I, I know Friday I brought some boxes down to you with equipment and we were both so busy we haven't talked since then. Um, I know that had something to do with licensing. And I know you uh, indicated you contacted Senator Little's office, et cetera. Any updates on that? And that was a malfunction in the uh, DEC. They duplicated the equipment that we already have, which we don't need. It looked like this. Uh, are they aware of that now? Yes. And have they indicated what's next? Well, they're supposed to be sending a call tag to come and pick up the stuff that they just sent to us. But I haven't heard anything. I, I called and you know everybody, and I got a, a an email notice today from uh, Kevin that the um, Kevin Maloney mm -hmm. uh, on to it, and I emailed him back that I haven't heard anything about our getting our license back and everything. And he said he would look into it, but it all goes to Revenue Accounting. Onto it. They're the ones that are holding it up. And when I talked to the senator again and the secretary, that she had made a few phone calls, but they haven't heard anything back from them either. Okay, good. Thank you for that. So we can't sell hunting licenses because we're not licensed anymore. Right. I guess that's the short answer. <laughs> Well, it, that, that's right. it should have been simple to just, okay, well, all the accounts were there, everything, well, we just that, can't seem right. to get through. And, and, you know, I said, if you close a business down and within six months you want to go back into business and use the same name, all of the stuff, the tax department will give you everything back, same thing with your driver's license. You know? I, I, I know I've been getting some calls from people who are a little concerned that they, they said, I thought you guys passed the resolution saying that hunting licenses would be sold, and they're still not being sold. So I guess the bottom line is, until <coughs> we get our license back from New York State, we can't sell it. Right. And we're actively seeking that license. Yep. Yeah. Right. And the equipment they sent, did they have uh, labels in there to print and everything? The, the stuff that they sent came from a different company, not from, from the old company from Verizon. It's from this new company in New Jersey. And when... The application went through the process. That's the company in New Jersey that sent us the stuff which we don't need. So, 
So somebody got word that something should happen sometime by somebody. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. But I think that they were under the assumption that we had already, that Verizon had already picked up our equipment and that we needed stuff to go forward until the end of the year, which we don't. We just need, everything is up and running, the system's on, it's been reprogrammed, the ID numbers are in it, everything's there except for them giving us the green light. Yeah, the green light to go. Okay, thank you. Anything else? Roll call. Thomas Wood? Yes. Paul Lloyd? Yes. Gerard Renzen? Yes. Bernie Johnson? Yes, resolution carries. Resolution 300, request to attend the Centauri Preparation <laughs> Assessment Training Conference. Whereas it is in the best interest of the town to remain current. One more time. <laughs> regulations and the appropriate <coughs> of training requirements for the local assessors. Therefore, we resolve that Brian Dowling, town assessor, be allowed to attend the Centurio Conference <laughs> held on October 31st to November 3rd, 2013, in Cooperstown, New York, at the Osseo Training Center. And it be further resolved that $34.50 for meals and $100 for the seminar be charged to the assessor's budget and be further resolved that a copy of this resolution be given to the budget officer, finance manager, and one also to replace and work Mr. Dowling's personnel file. Have a motion. So uh, Mr. Renanet, second Mr. Wood. Any discussion? Bernie, why? I see there's no amount there, but why is there mileage calculated on this? Um, I don't know because he's not taking a town car or not paying mileage. So I he is taking a town car. He's not. He's not. Um, I don't believe he is. He stays he's with Rolls using his personal down. vehicle. He has that checked in his application. Um, there was some calculating to see what that cost might have been. <coughs> I don't, the miles. I don't know. I didn't pay attention to that because I'm not paying for it. He, okay. he has family down there that he tends to stay with, yep. which is why it's so much uh, less expensive. Okay. Yeah. And he takes his personal car so that he can do things when he's not at the seminar and he would, that he wouldn't do with town vehicles. Right. No, and, and I appreciate that. It's just I, I saw a slash yeah. through mileage, but mileage computation was on there, and, and I, I just was a little leery as to whether or not we were going to see a, a bill for mileage later on. No, yeah. Okay. And, and I'm right above that. You see, he did check, or somebody checked, personal vehicle. Uh, either way, if we pass this, it's without mileage. Okay. Any other discussion? Thomas Wood? Yes. Paul Lemoyne? Yes. 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 Resolution carries. <laughs> resolution 301, acceptance of rubber snow blades for highway department. Whereas, <coughs> excuse me, whereas discussions with the town of Plattsburgh justices and town of court courts identify the equipment needs for the town of court. No. Uh, 301. No. Just jump one ahead of us, Rick. That's it. Out of order. <laughs> Okay. Acceptance of rubber snow blades for the highway department. Whereas it is necessary to maintain equipment and continue maintenance and improvements of the town's highways within the town of Plattsburgh. Whereas the procedures for purchase of commodities, equipments, or goods and contract values requires the town to solicit price quotes for the amounts not to exceed $5,000 for services. Whereas James Wood Highway Superintendent has solicited prices and is requesting permission <coughs> to place an order for rubber drilled snow blades. And whereas the price quotes have been received and the total estimated cost of the rubber blades for the snow plows is $5,820. Therefore, be resolved that the town board approve the purchase as recommended that the highway superintendent is hereby authorized to make said purchase. And it be further resolved that payment be made payable from 2013 Highway Budget Equipment Capital Outlay Account, DA 5130400. And that a copy of this resolution be given to the Budget Office. I have a motion. So, uh, Mr. Renovat, second. second. Mr. Lemoyne, any discussion? Just so the snow isn't hurt, we're just pushing with the rubber ones. It's so the asphalt doesn't hurt. <laughs> oh, oh, yes, oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, any other discussion? Roll call. Thomas Wood? Yes. Paul Lemoyne? Yes. Driver Innovate? Yes. Bernie Bassett? Yes. Resolution carries. Um, resolution 302, authorization to make application to the Justice Court Assistance Program, JTAC. Uh, 
Whereas the town board had previously authorized the improvements required for the garage gas main heating unit project. Yeah. That's what I've got for three of yeah. yeah. His duct disposal the, duct, the duct work and furnace. Three o two. Three o two. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's two. Well, there's, there's two. We and, 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 the, uh, and you've got the uh, disposal of duct work is 305. All right. 305. Let me change that. Okay. I've got uh, duct work is 305 as well. Mm -hmm. I had to. Okay. So did I. It's just a misprint on that. Try this once more. Where discussions with the town plaster justice and court clerks identified certain equipment needs for the town court. Therefore, be resolved that the supervisors hereby authorized to apply for funding for justice court assistance program, requesting funds to purchase four file cabinets, a safe, and four security camera units. And it be further resolved that a copy of this resolution be given to the budget officer and to the vote. have a motion. Mm -hmm. Mr. Wood, second. Second. Mr. Lemoy, any discussion? Uh, we, we are, <coughs> are these ones for outside, these videos, surveillance? I'm not 100% sure, Tom, but we've, we've installed the perimeter, so okay. I don't believe so. Um, I'm not 100% sure where Art's going to put them. What I think we want to do at this point, and the uh, new security system and cameras uh, should be operational this week. The DVR was delivered. Um, Wells Communication is coming up to make it operational. Um, we'll need to, if <coughs> this is a grant, if it gets funded, right, then funded. we can discuss what to do with the cameras. Um, but this will also give us time to see where the holes are in the system, if at all. Um, we certainly may want to have another one or two in the basement and around the court area. Well, I know we identified some, some areas that we might yep. want to have in the future. We have the full perimeter now, out back, uh, yep. the storage area, pole barn. Um, from, uh, you might have been there, Paul, I think Art indicated from about 200 feet away, you could tell the license plate number of the vehicle. Yeah, so they're, 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 they're quite good. They'll also uh, be accessible by law enforcement. Uh, if there's a situation they're on the way, they can see what's going on before they get here, uh, etc. So that, that's up. These will be, uh, it'll be assessed to determine exactly where to best use them. Okay, any other <coughs> questions, discussion? Roll call. Thomas Wood? Yes. Paul Boyne? Yes. Scriber in that? Yes. Very bad. Yes, resolution carries. Uh, resolution 303, and it seems like we've had a couple of orders from the machines. This would be the one uh, for the 3% site plan return deposit for Plattsburgh RV Park expansion site plan 2011. Whereas the Town of Plattsburgh Planning Board has reviewed and approved all requirements of the Plattsburgh <coughs> RV Park expansion site plan 2011. And whereas Plattsburgh RV Park Expansion Site Plan 2011 has on file with the Town of Plattsburgh a 3% deposit for construction of the project in the original amount of $3,060 plus accrued interest. So whereas the Planning Department has coordinated an inspection of said project and reports all requirements have been met and completed. Whereas Plattsburgh RV Park Expansion Site Plan 2011 has requested in a letter that the 3% deposit in the amount of $3,060 plus accrued interest to date be returned. Now therefore it be resolved that the supervisor is hereby authorized and directed to release said deposit in the amount of $3,060 plus accrued interest to date. And it be further resolved that a certified copy of this resolution be forwarded by the Planning Department Secretary with the return of the deposit to Plattsburgh RV Park. I have a motion. Mm -hmm. Mr. Wood, second. Second. Mr. Rendonet, any discussion? Roll call. Thomas Wood? Yes. Paul Lemoyne? Yes. Brian Rendonet? Yes. Bernie Bass? Yes. Resolution carries. Resolution 304. <coughs> Appointment of Michael Stoutinger as a maintenance worker, too, in the Water Wastewater Department. 
Whereas there is a vacancy in the position of maintenance worker two in the water wastewater department that was duly posted and advertised. And whereas interviews of the aforementioned position were held by the supervisor and members of the town board <coughs> director of the supervisor of the water and wastewater department. Whereas upon completion of the interviews, the recommendations of Michael Salinger for an existing vacancy in the water wastewater maintenance position two position. Now therefore be resolved that the town board town and plaster does hereby authorize the hiring and appointment of Michael Salinger to fill the position of the maintenance worker two as recommended at a rate pay of twenty dollars and two cents per hour. Effective November 4, 2013. And be further resolved that this will become effective following civil service approval and the supervisor is hereby authorized to sign all necessary documents for the full time appointment of Miguel Dallinger to the position of water wastewater maintenance worker two with a probationary period not to exceed 12 months. And it be further resolved that a certified copy of this resolution be given to the budget officer, Scott Stoddard, Director of Water and Wastewater Department, and that a certified copy of this resolution also be forwarded to the Clinton County Department of Personnel for filing. I have a motion. So moved. Mr. Rennick, second Mr. Wood. Any discussion? Roll call. Thomas Wood? Yes. Paul Lemoyne? Yes. Gerard Rennick? Yes. Bernie Dodd? Yes, resolution carries. Resolution 305, previously 302, the disposal of duct work and furnaces. Whereas the town board previously authorized the improvements required for the garage gas main heating unit project, whereas the replacement of gas lines and the new gas furnaces updated are finished throughout the building, whereas in a letter dated October 3rd, 2013, from Ivro, building maintenance supervisor, to the town board asking to dispose of the old ductwork and furnaces of scrap metal. <coughs> Therefore, be resolved that Mr. Bro is hereby authorized to contact local scrap yards to identify the best price for disposal of all metal and that the proceeds be given to the budget officer and to be credited to the general fund. And it be further resolved that Mr. Bro, the finance manager and budget officer, receive copies of this resolution. I have a motion. Mr. Lemoy, second Mr. Wood. Any discussion? I am surprised that Mr. Wood did not pick up on this. <laughs> duck work. Well, not duck. It's it's okay, you know. I, I was, it was so wet out, you know. It was, <laughs> uh, the yeah. ducks came to mind, and I, when I was reading it. It's on my porch. The water was coming through. It was you know. <coughs> Any other discussion? Work on. Thomas Wood? Yes. All the more? Yes. Gerard Renovet? Yes. Yes, resolution cadets. Our maintenance worker. Bill the maintenance. I missed that one. Correct. I'll change the resolution. I'll probably let the letter go. Yeah, leave it. Resolution 306, Water Wastewater Department's monthly report. I don't have that I didn't have copies in there. If you don't mind, I'll just read the report. Uh, Resolved to receive and place and file a report from Scott Stoddard, Water Wastewater Department Director for September 2013. Do I have a motion? So moved. Mr. Renner, second. Second. And Mr. Wood, any discussion? The only discussion is I'd like to get a copy of that. You one. will have one placed, and if you would prefer tabling this until you review it first. No, uh, all we're I can doing read to it. We had a meeting with him already, so we know what he's I know you All we're doing is accepting his report. I'm sure that there's no he, request that comes with that. He got this one a little late, and I said, well, this is the most important to keep all the reports together, and if you want to run it, let it go. Um, there may be copies of my red folder. I'll check again. Right. We kind of, uh, I might have missed that, but I don't think so. Uh, any other discussion? With that uh, understanding that you'll get a copy of the report um, uh, right away, I can give it to you before you leave if you want. Roll call. Thomas Wood? Yes. Paul Lemoyne? Yes. Gerard Renata? Yes. And Bernie Bash? Yes. Resolution carries uh, for the purpose of moving the report and we'll get that to you. Uh, again, it's a list of the uh, activities mm -hmm. typical to every other one. There's no other action, incidents, or requests. Um, that's it on the agenda. Um, if no one has.
has anything else, I'll ask for a motion to adjourn. So moved. Mr. Renata, second. Second. Mr. Moy, any discussion on the motion? For roll call? Thomas Wood? Yes. Paul Moy? Yes. Sorry, Renata? Yes. Bernie Bass? Yes. The resolution is <coughs> adjourned at 729.